Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I am gonna be showing you everything that you need to know about rosemary oil for hair growth. I'm gonna be showing you how to make it, how to use it, and I am also gonna be showing you an alternative rosemary hair rinse, which is another way to incorporate this nourishing and healing herb into your hair care routine to promote hair growth. It's kind of like rice water, but with rosemary, so stay tuned for that at the very end of this video. If you're new, my name is Audrey, and I make beauty videos videos here on YouTube. If you would like to see more content from me, make sure you subscribe. And now let's get started with the video. So chapter one of this video, what is rosemary and how does it help with hair growth? According to Wikipedia, rosemary is an aromatic evergreen shrub, AKA it looks like this and it has a woody herbal, almost minty smell. It is both a culinary and a healing herb. It's native to the Mediterranean, but you can pick it up at your local grocery store. There was actually a study done that proved that rosemary is just as effective as minoxidil, AKA Rogaine at restoring hair growth. Rosemary oil has been found to have anti-inflammatory properties. It promotes nerve growth and it improves circulation, all of which are said to help restore hair growth. Chapter two is all about how to make rosemary oil. You are gonna need rosemary, of course, and then you're gonna need oils. I recommend castor oil, argan oil, and jojoba oil. Castor oil helps with hair growth. Argan oil helps reduce frizz, and jojoba oil can strengthen and thicken your hair. It can also prevent hair loss. So first, you're just gonna take three rosemary sprigs, that's what they're called, and take the leaves off. Then you're gonna put them in a colander with really small holes so that they don't fall out. And you just wanna rinse the rosemary leaves. I have found that herbs, well, the ones that I use at least, usually have some dirt on them. So you just wanna make sure to wash them thoroughly. We are gonna be double boiling this mixture, which basically helps to preserve the nutrients in the oils while warming them up. If you heat oils up too much, they can lose their nutrients. So by double boil, them, AKA putting them in a bowl and then putting them in hot water, that helps to preserve the nutrients. I place the rosemary in a large metal bowl and I add two tablespoons of castor oil, a quarter of a cup of argan oil, and a quarter of a cup of jojoba oil. Then I add four cups of water to a pot and I put the bowl in the pot. So cooking times for this are gonna vary. My stove heats things up really, really fast. Yours might take a long time, so I'm not gonna give you like a straight number to go by. You wanna put the bowl in the water when the burner is off. Then once the bowl is in the pot, then you wanna turn the burner on, get it to boil, let it boil for a few minutes. I think I left it on for like two or three minutes. Then you wanna turn the burner off and then mix everything around for about a minute. And then you can let it sit for another like two or three minutes obviously with the burner off. After this, your goal is to somehow get all of this oil into a small bottle like this. I got this little amber bottle off Amazon. I will link it below in the description. I use a funnel and I put it into a smaller cup. I didn't strain this because the rosemary just stayed in the bowl. You can strain it if you want, but I just kind of found that it's not really necessary. One thing that I will say is you don't want to have the rosemary leaves in the oil once you're transferring everything. how to use rosemary oil. I have two ways that I use rosemary oil. The first way is that I apply about two droppers full of oil to my roots and scalp, and then I distribute the remaining oils on my hands to the ends of my hair. Then 
I just take a microfiber towel or a hair drying towel or I take one of my son's towels because they're really gentle and I drench it in warm water. Then I squeeze out the excess water and I wrap my hair in it for no longer than an hour. I will show you guys what I do with my hair after, but I want to show you another way that I use rosemary oil. So the second way that I apply rosemary oil to my hair is by doing exactly what I did the first time where I applied it to my roots and scalp, but this time I just put it in a high bun and I leave it in overnight. So after I have left this in my hair for either an hour or overnight, usually it's just an hour, I wash my hair in the shower using a shampoo with sulfates and a thick conditioner. I use a shampoo with sulfates because my hair is more on the oily side. So if I use a sulfate free shampoo, that won't get all of the oils out of my hair. And if I do use a sulfate free shampoo, then I have to shampoo twice. If your hair is dry, you can obviously just use a shampoo without sulfates. The shampoo I'm using is the Redken Cleansing Cream, and the conditioner I'm using is the Fable and Mains Holly Roots Conditioner. I do style my hair by blow drying it, but nevertheless, the rosemary oil always leaves my hair smooth and healthy. Chapter four, I am now gonna show you how to make a rosemary hair rinse. Rosemary hair rinses are comparable to rice water in that I pretty much use them the same way, but the rosemary rinse is a lot easier to make. So to make the rosemary hair rinse, I take three sprigs of rosemary, just like I did with the rosemary oil. I take all of the leaves off, then I wash the leaves thoroughly, and then I add four cups of water to a pot along with the rosemary, and I bring that to a boil on high high heat. So once the water is boiling, I wait about a minute or so, and then I turn the burner off. I cover it and I leave it for 20 minutes. After 20 minutes, I come back and transfer it to a mason jar. So unlike rice water, you can just use this right away instead of letting it sit out overnight. Make sure that it has reached room temperature when you're gonna use it. You do not wanna use this hot on your hair because you might burn yourself. Also, yes, you can make this one evening and then like use it the next morning or use it two days later, whatever. I just recommend to store it in the fridge. So the maximum amount of time that I store this in the fridge is seven days. Chapter five is all about how to use the rosemary rinse. I use this rosemary rinse a little bit different from how I use rice water. So with my rosemary water, I shampoo and condition my hair first, and then I use rosemary water within like five minutes of getting out of the shower. So this is because unlike rice water, rosemary water does not dry out my hair. So I am able to use it on clean, freshly washed hair for the most optimal results. This way I can ensure that the rosemary water Water is getting right into my roots and scalp and there's no like buildup of oil or anything like that that's preventing it from penetrating my hair. So I just pour the rosemary rinse into a large bowl and I rinse my wet clean hair over the bowl with a small cup. So I focus on my roots and scalp but then I also just pour the rosemary water on my entire hair shaft. I just have found that it really really makes my hair shiny and when I'm done rinsing this out through my hair I use usually do it for like five minutes. I just gently squeeze out the excess rosemary water and then I style my hair as usual. By the way, this does have a smell to it. The smell was really refreshing and clean, but it was also subtle. So it's not a really strong smell. Also, I haven't noticed this happening to me, maybe because I already have dark hair, but I have heard from a lot of you guys that it can darken your hair. This is how my hair looked after doing the rosemary rinse. Okay, you guys, so this has been all about rosemary for hair growth, how to make and use rosemary oil, and how to make and use a rosemary hair rinse. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Please let me know if you guys end up trying it in the comments below. I love all of you, and I will talk to you guys next time.